What's up, everybody? My name is Advance, and this is Advanced Sports Talk. All right, so I had a whole video recorded for this, but for whatever reason, it wouldn't upload into my editor. So here I am back, usual setup. I'm not in my car. <laughs> I guess I'll upload it. I'll, I'll upload the raw video as a um, as a bonus content or whatever. So yeah, it'll be it'll be kind of like of a behind the scenes reel. Uh, for the most part. All right. So yeah, as you can see, we're talking about once again we're talking about Ime Udoka. Um, you saw a video that I put up on one of my shorts where I called Malika Andrews a clown. Actually, what I said was. That was some foul ass clown ass shit. <clears throat> and it was. Because I'm about to play the clip here for a minute, but and I'm about to play the clip in a minute, but for for context, you know, so it with this whole email Udoka situation, nobody is faulting um nobody is ex excusing him of blame. See, that's the the whole uh the whole rhetoric uh, surrounding the uh, surrounding the red pill community, and uh, you know where they're like, oh well, they're trying to they're trying to uh, absolve him of responsibility. No, no, he's a hundred percent, he's a hundred percent responsible. But at the same time, like there's other people. If if there was consensual relationships, there was other people that also share in that blame, and they need to get. And they need to get an equal share of the um, of the disciplinary action, you know. So, yeah. So when you talk about women, yeah, we're talking about all right. We want, hey, y'all want equality. All right, there you go. But look, so we're going. To, so now I'm talking about Malika Andrews. She calls in the Stephen A. Show on first take and starts spouting off at the mouth about like yeah talk, talking about victim blaming and this that but i'm just gonna play the clip the fact that we are sitting here debating whether somebody else should have been suspended or not we are not here Stephen a to further blame women that is not why we are here that is not why we are here <laughs> okay yeah she sound like somebody I know, but hold on, we'll, we'll rewind for a little bit. That is not why we are here. First of all, let me be very clear. I don't oh. appreciate where you're going with that. Get her. I'm not blaming anybody. Yeah, but get her ass, Udoka. Steven. I've said he deserved to be fired. Uh -huh. They were going to fire him. If you're not going to fire him, then don't fire him. My issue is all of this being publicized. Right. The point that I'm trying to make is just you like you're not mentioning. Excuse me. Doka excuse me. I listen to you. You're the one telling me to stop on my show. It yeah. happened. Yeah. Okay. Shut her ass down. Number two. Mm -hmm. If you're not going to handle it privately, <clears throat> if you're going to publicize it in that fashion, then obviously it provokes everybody wanting to know. Okay. Well, who are the parties involved? When you have Amina Smith in Boston and other women. Oh pointing out the fact that there were women who were wrongly implicated in all of this. Uh -huh. It's a disservice to them. Right. So see, here's the thing. So the, the women that are involved are, are anonymous. So of course, when, when you, when you paint a broad picture like that, everybody at, in the, every woman in the Celtics organization is a potential uh, suspect or victim or subject, I should say subject of, said scandal so <laughs> so i'm like so that's what Stephen a is saying on on two fronts basically one on a, from an accountability standpoint because if they if it was consensual then yeah like there should definitely be disciplinary action to go around and two like they need to identify who it was just so they can't so they know so people know who they're talking about because imagine being a husband sitting at home and all of a sudden you hear something about a um you hear something about a woman in the in the uh, in the celtics organization and you're like hold up my wife works for the celtics 
let me get to the bottom of this. And of course, you know, it's, and she could say no, but you know, because of the way that the way that society is fucked up in the head right now, you could, you could look at it and be like, is she lying? Why would she admit to that? You know, so especially if the woman is, is, um, is, uh, is being held anonymously. So like it's, it, it fucks, it fucks shit up all the way around about a consensual relationship. I didn't come out with the report ahead of time leaking that we were, they were going to suspend him for the year. They did that. My whole point is, is that, excuse me, make sure that you handle it in the same fashion it has always been handled. You could have fired him, and then we could have speculated till the cows come home, but he's gone. But to keep him there, keep him employed, but in the same breath, suspend him for a year, then also that year is indefinite. Nobody's trying to protect Ime Udoka, and certainly nobody is trying to excoriate the women involved or anything like that. I'm talking about how things of this matter are usually handled from an HR perspective, from an organizational perspective. I'm not trying to attack anybody, and if anybody deserves to be attacked, it's Ime Udoka for putting himself in this position. I and nobody is... Um and here's the thing, nobody excuse that excuses that. Everybody is on the same page with that. Whether you're in a professional setting, or if you had a childhood crush on Neil Long and you think that he did her wrong. Yeah, I know that rhyme. It's in the blood. But yeah, like the fact of the matter is that oh Stephen A is is, is telling him um that, you know he's he's telling him right like. Yo, what? <laughs> Come on now. Say anything about everybody else? All the other times this stuff has happened, but now when it comes to him, yeah, it's all over the place. That is my only issue. I appreciate that clarification, and I think that getting back to Molly's initial question, that is what stood out to me from. The oh, now you sound dumb as shit. The only thing that was made clear to me in this is that we are missing a key piece of information here. All right, so basically, this woman is clearly like an advocate for um, for the um, for feminist talking points, or just protecting the um, the women. Me too. Anything that you can think about. Now, I'm not I'm not discrediting anything any any of those um, of those organizations or what they stand for, but in this particular situation, uh. She doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. Like seriously, and because and then there was a um there was an issue with um where she had uh, Kendrick Perkins call into her show. Ime Udoka was wrong. We get that his punishment. He deserved that, and whatever else follows. I hated for him, but he put himself in this position. But why are the other people getting left off the hook? The well, that's Kendrick, the problem that I have Kendrick, right now. Kendrick, Everybody got to be held Kendrick. accountable. I think that we need to circle back to what Shanae said, is that there was a investigation that was conducted by an independent law firm here. Transparency is what will rule the day here. And so without having all of the information, it is unfair and irresponsible of us to go and to speculate. She's saying that we don't have all the facts. Kendrick here is saying that he does have all the facts. So, yeah, I mean, he probably has contacts or he knows people that know somebody that are credible. So she's not trying to hear this. But we have to. Well, I'm, not, I'm not speculating. Sure. I have the information. I'm not speculating. Boom! Right there. But what we have to go with here is the fact that an independent law firm came in, did this investigation, and they came to the conclusion that Ima Udoka violated a policy that's that warranted a one-year suspension and i share your frustration with the lack of transparency while under that's not what he's saying though some things that they need to from a legal perspective keep private but knowing that, all of that understanding all of that we have to come to the uh, conclusion that whatever rule the conduct that was broken on one side it is not the same on the other side i think he how is it not the it's is equal blame to go around though then on top of that she had the nerve to 
like try to discredit the uh, the interim head coach that the Celtics decided to hire. You reported that Joe Missoula will be the interim head coach here. You can see his resume on your screen. He's been a Celtics assistant coach the last three seasons after spending okay. the previous three seasons at Fairmount State. And he played for West Virginia between 2006 and 2011 and now could become so, NBA's youngest head coach. So he knows what he's doing. Years old. Youngest and coach at 30. we remiss not to also mention that Missoula was arrested twice at West Virginia, once in 2008 for underage drinking and aggravated assault. He pled guilty, paid a fine, and then again in 2009 for domestic battery after an incident at Morgantown what? Bar. The domestic battery case never went to trial. It was settled in August of 2009. He paid a 100... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. He played for West Virginia between 2006 and 2011, and now could become the NBA's youngest head coach at 34 years old. And what? we'd be remiss not to also mention that Missoula was arrested twice at West Virginia was nine. So what does that have to do with fine and court costs plus had to do 40 hours of community service? No, that was 13. What does that hold on? Years ago, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. and paid 10 years ago service. No cost plus had to do 40 hours of community service. No. That was 13 years ago. He said, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Oh my. This was live on the air. Settled and paid both fines. So, whoa, why are. So it's a nothing burger. Yo, it, there was actually no reason for you to, ex to put all of that out there. For what? Fine. So. Quote, why are the Celtics choosing him as their next head coach? Well, let's start with this. This is somebody whose character they really believe in, whose leadership they really believe in, and tactically, they think this is uh, Joe Mazzulla has all the makings of a head coach in the NBA. Made you do, made you look dumb as shit. Look at what the dick look on her face, yo. Are you? Yo, what was the? Why? What was the reason for you? Say, whoo, whoo. Yo, are you kidding me right now? Like, yo, what? Why does she have to feel the need to put all of that information out there? Like, for what? You trying to discredit somebody? Like, is that like is that seriously what you're all about? Like, there was no. There was no other end game for that. It, and you can't say, all right, well, yeah, no, well, no. She used the word remissed. Like, remissed. She said, we we would feel remissed if we didn't mention it. And it was like, the people on the panel was like, hold on, we? Like, <laughs> like hold on, no, no, no. So, I don't know. And then the thing is, is that when she turned to the other dude next, when she turned to the dude next to her, so, whoa, why are the Celtics choosing him as the next head coach? Well, let's start with this. This is somebody whose character they really believe in, whose leadership they really believe in, and tactically, they think this is uh, Joe Mazzulla has all the makings of a head coach in the NBA. It made you look dumb as fuck. Yo, either if, um, even if it was a case of whether it was scripted or if the answer was just that damn obvious, either way, it looks bad on you. It looks even worse if it's scripted because then it's like, all right, you willingly went along with this. You know, and I think now that I think about it, I think I remember um I think I remember hearing people talk about uh you know, her 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 being on the panel or like there was people complaining about her being on the um getting a show or something because you know, she's just there because the sports world is woke now or whatever the fuck but I said I was going um for this video I was going to stop I wasn't going to refer to women as the B word so I'm going to just let Anderson Pac do it for me this bitch took it upon herself to try to to, to like, expose a man's past and like it had absolutely nothing to do with the credentials that he had to get this coaching job. This bitch doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about at all. Like Kendrick actually said 
that no i have all of the information this bitch wants to go ahead and continue to push her narrative and try to spin it in in a one in a one way fashion this bitch is giving me like major candace owens vibes and you know like that's why like i said like she kind of reminds me of somebody i know i'm not talking about the candace owens that's trying to say black masculinity i'm talking about the candace owens that literally tried to justify the murder of a black man you know by because he had a criminal record uh george floyd was a criminal <laughs> he was a criminal so he and deserved to die because he was a criminal doesn't mean he deserved to die oh okay he a police officer he has a rap sheet that is long that is dangerous he was an example of a violent criminal his entire life okay up until the very last moment now again i want to be sounds like you're justifying his murder clear this is not a defense for Derek chauvin no one he is getting what he has coming to him so this bitch literally tried to justify the um justify a person's murder under the phrase play stupid games win stupid prizes now back on topic this bitch really sat there and tried to discredit another black man and it looks even worse because you are a black woman and that is apparently that's the rage now nowadays but you have a black woman trying to discredit another black man on getting a job and he got the job on his merit and the fact that it took a white person to defend him makes you look all that much worse this bitch but in any case that's why i said what i said in the in the short that i made like yeah malika andrews that was some clown ass shit that was some foul ass shit i stand by that there was no there was absolutely no reason for you to divulge any of that and you said you felt remiss what is remiss? Is it personal? You felt you felt like that was your that was your personal mission. You felt like you that was your responsibility to air that to air that dirty laundry. What is the definition of remiss? Here's the definition of remiss: lacking care or attention to duty, negligent. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. 